In today's video, we are going to clone Reddit, a multi-billion dollar business. I'm going to show you exactly step by step how we're going to do that using a tool called Copy Coder. And this is the new updated version of Copy Coder. We're going to take some screenshots and we're going to recreate it using Cursor. Cursor is going to be our no-code AI tool and it's going to be those three things and we're going to make this from scratch and in the end you're going to have a full-blown clone of reddit which is going to be amazing and we're going to customize it to fit our own needs let's jump into it we're very excited we're one of the first people to get access to it it's officially live you guys can check all the stuff below but we're going to use it it's a prompting tool for cursor so we're going to do a cursor copy coder collaboration so copy coder is a prompting tool that makes pretty insane prompts for you to put into cursor and it's going to make things so freaking easy if you guys haven't watched my other videos check out my other collabs with copy coder and cursor it's nuts so check this out landing page or web app so of course we want to build a web app and so this, this is not just going to be some glorified front end this is actually going to be a full-blown application when it's all said and done let's just jump right into it i'm going to show you exactly step by step how to do this and how to build out a full stack application from start to finish so first things first is we're going to take a picture we're going to take a screenshot of reddit and of course this is for educational purposes so reddit don't come chasing me because I'm not interested in launching a competitor. I just wanna show people the power of no code, which is why we do this. So that's our first one. Then we're gonna to go to popular and we're gonna do the second screenshot. Then we're gonna to go to answer. Actually, let's go to explore. We're gonna have explore communities. That's the next one. And then let's go to maybe create a post and that'll be our last page. So let me, first things first, let's take our initial image, which is here. So that's four pages. Next, what we're gonna do is go to copy coders and we're gonna drag that into copy coder. What you're gonna see copy coder is gonna do is it's going to analyze this design and then it's gonna use artificial intelligence to actually pick out all the different pages that we wanna build. So in the old version, it would just basically give you some kind of prompt that you're gonna import, but it's not gonna break it down. But look at this, here it's gonna say, do you want the homepage? Do you want the, here's all the pages. So then it's gonna ask you to upload all these pages. Look at that. So we have our home page. So we're gonna click, which we got, and we're gonna do all the individual pages. So here's our home page. So we can actually delete it because the main page is the home page. Actually, that's probably better. So let's close that. Then we're gonna go to popular. We're gonna upload the popular page. There it is. Then we're gonna go to answers. Let me make sure that we don't want the answers one. Answers beta, ask a question. Now we don't need that. So we're gonna delete that one. So you can basically customize and actually give the tool, what are the pages that you wanna build? So we got popular, oh, what happened? Did it delete it? Shoot, sorry. So let me add that in there, popular. Then we're gonna to go to explore. Here is explore. Yep, I got that one. So let's go to copy coder and let's upload the explore page. There's explore. And then we have an all page, which we don't care. Then we also have, so let's delete that. Let's delete that. Delete announcements, delete the queue. So now we have our three pages. Here's that main page and popular. And then also I wanna add a page. So this is post. So now you can actually add a page to what you want. And then the post page is gonna be our last one. Create a post. So now we have the four pages that we're gonna do and that's it. And then we're gonna go generate pages. And just like that, Copy Coder is going to create the most advanced prompt that we're gonna then just clip and paste to cursor and you're gonna see the power of what it can do. It's pretty insane. If you guys have never watched my channel, my name is Marcin AI, I'm a no-code dev, and I make all kinds of different projects, SaaS businesses, games, demos, I mean, we do it all. I test all the newest, baddest tools, and I make content for you guys. So definitely give a follow, give a like, and of course, join our community, which is all free. It's called the No-Code AI Army. We have today, let's see, 2,607 people in here creating, collaborating, making videos, making content, building businesses, it's really, really fun. So, all right, so check this out. So now we're done. So now here's what it says. Look at this, project setup via CLI. Full project files and setup command. So all we gotta do is copy this right here and then we're gonna go to cursor. We're gonna open our project. We have a project called Reddit on our desktop, which is just a blank folder. And here is the power. Make sure your agent is activated up here. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna paste that into console down here inside that folder. We're gonna paste that and we're gonna hit enter. And that's it. It's that simple. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna create all these files. Look at this, so now we have a setup file. We have a setup authentication to build in backend authentication. And we have page one, page two, page three, and page four. And now to get this started is make sure you are in 3.7 Sonnet. 
So we're going to go to that one. And then all we got to do is run app setup. And that is it. Voila. You just watch the whole thing. From Copy Coder, we imported the four images of Reddit. And that's basically it. Now it's going to go step by step and start building out all of these different pieces for the project. Let me go here and let's take a look at cursor. If you guys have never watched no code do its thing, it's absolutely amazing. It's going to build all the dependencies. It's going to build out everything that it needs in order to do this. And your only job is going to be approving and saying yes. And once we have something built, then we're going to customize it. That's kind of the process. And we're going to do this for the individual pages. Copy Coder makes this process so easy because before you had to know how to prompt. You had to know how to talk to cursor. You had to know how to do all those things. Now they've literally gotten rid of all of that because it gives you every single thing that you need in order to actually get these projects built and it automates it. Plus you have some really good templates here to start with. So look at this, you got trading platform, you got a developer tools directory. So this is a full site right here that you can literally just import and start, look at this, sales backend, operations. It's pretty advanced. I've been a big fan. I've been rocking with these guys since day one and um, their stuff is really good. Here's a SaaS template that you could literally plug and play into Cursor. Look at that. So if you have a SaaS business, so I, I'm a big fan. I really do like their stuff. I think they've done a great job and I'm happy to uh, show you guys because I do like tools that make your no code process easier. I'm a big fan of that. All right, here's version one of our new clone of Reddit called Musy. Let's open it up and here it is. Oh, this is so sick. Look at this. It's got dark mode. It's got the feed. Let's go to explore. Look at that. We got the different communities and then we got our post. Choose a community, post, image, link. Look at that. What up? Let's post this. Obviously there's no backend built, but we're going to do that next. So look at this. How crazy is this? So if this was, you could do this for anything. We did it for Reddit, obviously, but you could do it for, look how close that is as inspiration. It's pretty fantastic. So if you were trying to do this on your own, just using cursor, do you know how long this would take you? And if you just uploaded an image to cursor, you're not going to get these kind of results. This is why I'm definitely a big fan of using the tool copy coder because it allows you to, it's not going to be pixel perfect, but you don't want it to be pixel perfect, right? You want it to be more as inspiration. That's kind of the whole idea of this process using these two together in tandem. So now we have our front end. And what I want to do is I want to create login authentication. So if you remember going back to cursor, you saw right here, set up authentication. It's really, really simple. All we have to do now is go in here and we just have to say run at files and we're going to go to set up. Where does it go? Set up authentication right here. And there's going to be a couple steps and we're going to hit send. And that's the whole process. It's going to now ask me a few questions. As you can see here, it's going to secure all these pages and then it's going to actually go in and create our authentication. And then we're going to basically put our keys in from Superbase. We're going to use Superbase. If you guys haven't used it before, just sign up for a free account. We're going to go new project. We're going to call this Newsy. We're going to give it a password and then we're going to hit create new project. And then all we're going to do is we're going to get all our info right here. So this is basically the keys we need. Here's the API key and then also the URL. All right, so let's go back to cursor. So accept all and the cursors, since it's gotten all the directions, it's going to build everything correctly because everything is already prompted correctly using copy coder. And that's what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is this eliminates so many issues. Typically when you start building and then you're like, oh, let me add authentication, but then it's going to have issues because it's not built from the beginning like that or prompted correctly. If you're a developer, I totally get it. You make this, you understand this, but for a lot of no code devs, this is the hardest part and using both these tools together makes it really, really easy. So what it's going to do here is it's going to create this right here. So you see this env.local and now it's going to say, what is your super base URL? And then what is your public key? So now we're going to go back and here is our public project URL. We're going to go back, paste it there. And then we're going to go back and we're going to get our key. We're just going to paste that there. And now we have both. And then all we got to do is hit accept all. It's going to finish everything. Make sure everything is working. And then I'm going to show you next time we go in to the site, it's going to actually have our login authentication. Pretty insane. Super easy to do. Literally took two small steps, activating the setup authentication file and then adding your super base URL and then your super base key. And that's it. It's probably the easiest setup for any of these no code tools. And you can see it's going step by step. So now it's creating the reset password page. So for signups to work, it's going to have to have your login, your sign up, your reset password, um, lost my password, whatever it is. 
whatever the standards are, it's going to create that based off of everything in Superbase. All right, next, let's check it out. So we're going to go to sign up. You can see it created the sign up page as we wanted it to. We're going to do test and then we're going to hit sign up and see if it worked. What did it say here? Can't read. Maybe it sent an email. That's what I'm assuming this says. I have to definitely uh, put that as an error. Yep, I just got an uncle. Confirm your email. And now we're gonna sign in with our credentials. And I bet you if we go into authentication, we're gonna hit refresh and voila. All right, so there you go guys. So now that's authentication. And you would do the same for every other step moving forward. You would do the same for storage. You would do the same for database. You would do the same for real-time database. And this is basically the project and how you would build that every single step of this. Super easy. Now let's go in. Let me just log in really quick just so you guys could see that it works. Hit sign in. And just like that, we have our logins here. Check this out. So now we can sign out and then we can sign back in with our login authentication. I feel like this is definitely the easiest way to do this and it just works. Next, I'm going to show you how to actually set up this database because this is something that everybody keeps asking. So all you got to do is you got to ask Cursor, hey, help me set up the database for Superbase. It's going to give you a code right here and you're just going to copy this right here. Copy that. You're going to go back to Superbase. You're going to go to SQL Editor and then you're going to just paste that here. That's it. And you're going to hit run. Then you're going to get back this, which is a post and comment manager. And then you're going to go back to Cursor and you're going to say, hey, I put it in, accepted it. And then now it's going to do all the work. And then you're going to be able to go in and have posting ability on your website. It's really that simple. Once you understand the principles and how things are actually built, it all just works. You just have to learn it the first time. This is the hardest process is just getting it the first time. Once you have it, super easy. And uh, that's the beauty of all this stuff. So let's take a look. I'm going to wait for this to finish. And now we should have a posting function. What I did is I just made it really simple on the side just so we could test it quickly. But let me show you how it works. Okay, let's take a look. We're going to open up our page. Here it is. So create a post. I'm just going to do a no code AI army, which you guys should definitely check out and sign up for. It's free. We're just going to do a test. And then we're going to hit post not found. But let's go to our database. I want to just show you as far as the database goes. We're going to go here and we're going to go to our table editor and go to post. And there it is. Look at that. No code AI army. So that's how it works. So right now I'm going to obviously debug it and make sure that it's posting correctly. But again, for speed, I'm not trying to show you a full blown product here. I'm trying to get your mind to understand how quickly you can build stuff. And as you can see, it's all connected. Now you just got to finalize it. And once you get the look of it, then I'm sorry, once you get it working, then you can worry about the look of it, right? I want to now put this functionality over here. When I, when I click this button or when I go to this post button here, let me be able to add images, text and links and, and so on. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Go check out Copy Coder version two. Super pumped to share this because it really does simplify the process where you can really build super advanced style pages like this Reddit clone we just did. And of course, buy me a late night cup of coffee which I'm always grateful for. So hope to guys see you in our group, the No Code AI Army. Until next time, hit the links and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.